It's a simple thing. He has one requirement. You've got to treat him as God and walk with him as God if you're going to have him manifest as God. That's the new manifestation of the Spirit as God. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstra. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. In order for things to be established in the earth, you understand they must first be spoken. Somebody has to speak them. Yeah. I preach in order to bring you into belief. And you have a choice. You can either choose to believe it and hear it and go on, or you can just reject it and go back to where you were. Mm -hmm. But there are those of us who must go on. Say, must go on. Must go on. We don't have a choice. We've made the commitment to go on, and we have to go on. I can't let those old things hold me back I have to hear I have to hear I have to hear and keep moving in the direction that the Holy Ghost is sending me I've come a long way because I've been around on this path a long time and I have many things I'm gonna say tonight it's gonna be too much for most people but you're not most people say I'm not most people, I'm not most people. you're gonna go on even if they don't mm -hmm. well it's to you that I speak these things 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God why has the spirit come to you that you might know the things say that I might know the things they're freely given to you meaning freely given we're gonna get into that they've already been given and they're already free mm -hmm. but we have the Spirit with us so that we can know those things mm -hmm. you're not gonna know those things if you don't have the Spirit of God whose name is the Holy Ghost are you here mm -hmm. so we have received him say him, him. that we might know the things of God now the things of god i'm gonna i'm really i'm gonna be pulling and pulling and trying to get you to go with me somewhere the things are of god are his things yes. so we're supposed to know his things mm -hmm. and to know means we're supposed to know we're supposed to receive and walk in those things mm -hmm. those things that are of god well these things that come from god are superior things they're above things so whatever you're dealing with in the natural realm his thing is better than that his thing is superior to that mm -hmm. yes. these things supersede those things they're better than those things mm -hmm. i don't care what the problem is god has already established a thing has already given a thing freely that will take care of that problem and make it disappear yes. but it's his thing mm -hmm. and we need to know that thing they're things they're his things they come to your ear and when you hear that's how you receive it it comes into you and then you have it mm -hmm. and it supersedes the other thing well these things are spiritually discerned not out here but in here first mm -hmm. you discern it in here first what do you discern in here first the thing because out here may be the problem but in here is the thing that supersedes the problem say in here, in here. is the thing, the thing that supersedes, supersedes the problem everybody's looking for the the solution out here it's not out there so the things in fact all things already exist it already exists here where his things are yes. 
the prosperity already, already exists say that the prosperity, the prosperity already, exists. already exists say the healing, the healing already, exists. already exists say the youth renewal, the youth renewal already, already exists already it's his thing Amen. he didn't come into the earth without it if you were gonna move somewhere what do you do you take your things with you the glory of God is literally his things he talks about his glory bringing his glory with him those are his things mm -hmm. so all these things already exist James chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning we know that the Holy Ghost came down so the Holy Ghost is here he is God in the earth today he came down and he brought what every good and perfect gift with him yes. well the Holy Ghost already came down but he's still above he's still above the situation he didn't come down and get under the situation no. he came down and he's still above so where he is listen where he is is still above the situation he's still in us in a superseding place superior to that situation Do you understand yes. because his stuff and who he is and what he brought with him makes it that way and makes him that way mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost is above the situation is this too hard to understand he came down from above but it didn't mean he came down and went underneath everything he came he's still above all the stuff mm -hmm. he's still above all the stuff so he lives in a world of being above everything mm -hmm. so he's not there in heaven above but he's here on earth above are you getting this mm -hmm. his answer is already here with him it's spiritually discerned and it's above already say it's above already, it's above already. second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 all of the promises of God are yes and amen he's already said yes amen. to yes. all of the promises mm -hmm. say all of the promises all the promises he's already said yes mm -hmm. so every one of these things the things are the promises yes. every one of these things all the things they're already in existence for you yes, yes is the right answer second Corinthians 4 18 while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal or temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal things seen things not yet seen the thing seen is temporary or subject to change the thing that you don't see yet is eternal not subject to change God's promises are the things and they're not subject to change God's promise of healing is not subject to change can you see that yes. he already said yes mm -hmm. say my healing, my healing is not, is not subject, to subject to change what is subject to change the sickness the disease that's subject to change because his word and the promise and the thing that already exists for you is eternal not subject to change so is your prosperity by the way so is your youth renewal by the way these things exist they're already in existence all things exist here in this place that i'm talking about his domain where the holy ghost is above all things supersedes all things that problem you're thinking about the manifestation of the spirit excels beyond that situation so you know that's a problem with a lot of people is they can't see beyond the situation they're under it 
they can't see themselves out of you got to start looking at him that's why it says we look at him and we start to behold his glory his things mm -hmm. and then we see ourselves in his things say i see myself, I see myself. In, his in his things and his things are all the promises yes and amen they're all ready for you the manifestation of the spirit excels beyond excels you beyond hear this with the ears of your spirit there is a new manifestation of the spirit we are those who have come to know the holy ghost as god in the earth today and we're learning how to walk with him when we learn how to walk with him we get his things don't we his things just start showing up and are above and beyond all the other things we worship him the holy ghost and we expect his things when we worship the holy ghost as god we have entered into a new say a new, a new a new manifestation of the holy ghost a new manifestation of him as god in the earth yes. and when we expect his things read glory because his glory is his things and his things is his glory the problem with using the word glory is everybody gets all religious and weird on you yeah that's the glory no the glory is his things yes. and his things are his promises and his things are all the good and perfect things that he brought down with him his stuff maybe we should put that in there instead mm -hmm. well we are those who worship the holy ghost as god in the earth and expect his stuff this and everything that follows is a new manifestation of the spirit because you didn't get his things before you started worshiping him and knowing him as God they're coming through that Avenue and that's new this is new yes it's new think God on the earth you know why everybody has a problem with this the Holy Ghost is God he's on the earth with us think God on the earth you walking with God on the earth everybody chokes that off and puts it into some small space knock it off he's God he's on the earth he came into the earth on the day of Pentecost and haven't left we've just squelched him by our religiousness mm -hmm. and not let him be who he is he brought all his stuff with him nobody wants it think God on the earth today the glory of him his things goes way beyond your ability my ability i'm not just talking about you and your ability i'm talking about him and his ability his glory his things you can't heal yourself you can't renew your youth remember jesus even said that you can't make your hair grow out you can concentrate but it doesn't work what's implied there is he can he's god right yeah. see this comes from worshiping the holy ghost as god and beginning to know him as god if you knew him as god you would worship him mm -hmm. and if you take the step of worshiping him you would begin to know him as god yes. and then you're going to end up coming to this place and going god on the earth today you're going to start to think differently like you're actually walking with God on the earth you know what you've been thinking about is you're gonna you're gonna walk around with maybe God's grace somehow and then when you die you're gonna go to heaven and be with God it's not how it's worked it's not how it's written you got that from some religious doctrine you didn't get it from Jesus and you certainly didn't get it from the Holy Ghost the glory of him his things God on the earth say the glory of him glory his of things him. God on the earth, on the earth. Goes, way goes way beyond you and your ability we won't turn there but Psalms 103 19 says his kingdom rules above all again it's right above everything who God on the earth God that came into the earth his name is the Holy Ghost 
am i making this up is he god yes. did he come into the earth yes. is he the one we're supposed to be walking with yes. then he's god on the earth in the earth with us right yes. so when we're thinking about him and his things it goes way beyond you and your little thing you know jesus with his disciples taught them to pray and what do they say our father which art in heaven thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven guess what on the day of pentecost the kingdom came because god himself came into the earth and brought all his goodness and all his gifts with him yes. the kingdom came jesus also said it comes without observation meaning you didn't see it didn't seem to be that way the pharisees asked him tell me when the kingdom comes jesus said you're gonna miss it because it doesn't come with observation mm -hmm. it came without observation we just read those verses mm -hmm. things you don't see but he's here and he's above the situation mm -hmm. he's above all the situations this kingdom came with the holy ghost as god in the earth today i'm preaching the kingdom of god the holy ghost is god he's in the earth today and we walk with him in the kingdom by saying words mm -hmm. well if you don't receive him the holy ghost as god mm -hmm. in the earth then you can't walk in his things his things that require this that you know him as god and walk with him as god it's a simple thing he has one requirement you gotta treat him as God and walk with him as God if you're gonna have him manifest as God that's the new manifestation of the Spirit as God in your life you start worshiping him he'll begin to manifest himself as God well if you don't receive him as God you can't walk in his things but we do receive him as God we do we here receive him as god we worship him as god and it's an ever expanding household of faith we are we've received him as god we walk with him as god and when you do that you begin to think differently and you testify to this it's a different way of thinking why you're having a new manifestation of the spirit god in the earth this is this this gets even better than where we're at now it's pretty good now but it gets even better when you worship him as god he begins to manifest himself as god with his things say god with his things, god with his things. wait why do you want god without his things <laughs> that's god without his glory well i think differently because i've come out from among them who don't think this way who don't believe this way and who don't live this way and they say well i don't like how aggressive you are or bold i don't like how bold you are mm. well you can't break through all that religious garbage without being aggressive and bold Amen. doesn't work Amen. in fact matthew chapter 11 verse 12 talking about the kingdom of heaven so the violent take it by force they take it say they take it. they take it why are you so violent because i'm taking it yeah, right. a lot of people don't like it but i know who i am i know where i'm going and i will take you there if you're willing to go the spirit of god said to me take them into the spirit so they can see me why is seeing him so important because we're changed by beholding him we're changed into his glory the things that he has mm -hmm. by seeing him but you're not going to see him if you don't know him as god my words will take you there your use of the words i worship you holy ghost will take you there now, you don't have to go here you don't have to listen to me but i'm going here and i will be promoted deal with it 
that's what happens when people commit to going somewhere and saying the things God tells them to say week after week I don't make this stuff up but I am going here and you're welcome to join me and I will be promoted Amen. in fact the greatest wealth here are some of the things I'm gonna be saying the greatest wealth is in this household of faith say the greatest wealth, the greatest wealth. is in this household of faith now just use your noggin for a second we've been talking about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth and this household of faith worshiping him as God right yes. and expecting his things yes. the greatest wealth his wealth is in this household of faith and it supersedes all other wealth Amen. is this true yes. it's not true well then you can't have it just go away mm -hmm. you have to believe some things if you're gonna go there mm -hmm. why so violent because I'm taking it what are we taking the kingdom what's the kingdom it's the Holy Ghost and his things in this earth we're not waiting stop waiting to die and go to heaven or just get it over with already that's not the kingdom the kingdom is renewed youth right. if you're healed and your youth is renewed have fun trying to die right. you're believing for what God has the Holy Ghost he's in the earth you're walking with him he doesn't want you to die amen. what's his will for you the promise is his will mm -hmm. yes and amen healing of every sickness every disease mm -hmm. and your youth renewed and being abundantly provided for which is a word we use called rich mm -hmm. and then if you want to die well go ahead I guess mm -hmm. well, we're taking it I'm taking it some of us will listen some of us will fulfill everything we're called to fulfill in this last day some of us will fulfill some of us will fulfill everything we're called to fulfill in this last day and that's a lot Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 for the earth shall be filled where the heavens the earth, the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea what shall be filled with this knowledge the earth, the earth. who's in the earth the earth. use in the earth who else is in the earth holy, holy ghost is in the earth who's the lord god in the earth holy ghost. the holy ghost the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the lord god the holy ghost right with the knowledge of the glory of the lord god the holy ghost as the waters cover the sea well well how well well how much does the waters cover the sea that's pretty much that's completely the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord the earth shall be is this in your Bible should we just rip this one out well this must be after we go to heaven what how does that even make sense no the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the things of the Lord the stuff of the Lord who's the Lord God the Holy Ghost who's in the earth think God in the earth yes. and get anything over into you tonight is to think God in the earth he's God in the earth and he has stuff and the knowledge of his stuff is going to cover the earth say cover the earth. cover the earth do we have our job cut out for us yes. i guess i was thinking too small weren't you now you can see why you need your youth renewed yeah. now you can see why you got to have money yeah. now you got to see why you got to have perfect health because yes. we're walking in his things and the knowledge of his things is going to cover the earth. 
it's going to be filled with the glory of the lord the glory is his things his stuff filled with his stuff mm -hmm. who's going to do it i'm gonna do it say i'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. okay really you know I've, I've been in so many services where people yeah I, I, well, how far do you want to go i want to go all the way and you know where they went they went all the way away they're not violent enough to take it I told you I'm saying some things you can either go here or not listen entire economies shall turn did I read that the glory of the Lord God's stuff is gonna fill the earth now it's cuz stop listening to the news they don't know any of this they're not quoting chapter and verse and they certainly don't worship the Holy Ghost I've got good news this is great news because he supersedes it are you here he's above it he's always above it entire economies will change they'll turn listen I didn't make this up I'm not I'm not trying to come up with stuff in this place think God on the earth can God do that if he's God if he's allowed to be God on the earth and he has a people that walk with him as God on the earth you choked it off but I preached it anyway now I saw myself in this space in this place with the Holy Ghost and there was a problem that I would I was praying about it wasn't necessarily my problem but it was a social problem it was in society say it was in society it was this a society-wide problem that people were uh, just underneath and being influenced by well I was in this space with the Holy Ghost and I saw the entire problem just liquefy and dissipate and go away as if it was never there Amen. who does that God the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth what about this problem what about that problem what about them all of them he's above and they liquefy and disappear yes. gone I've seen the kingdom and when you see the kingdom you see the results of the Holy Ghost being God in the earth think God in the earth we don't think God in the earth we think this religious tripe we've been brainwashed religiously to think small thoughts I don't think God has a small thought in his head and the closer you get to him the bigger the thoughts you have to think yes. but I've seen this kingdom it has literally come into my face and you may not understand that language yet second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 says we with open face beholding the glory of the Lord if you open face behold the glory of the Lord that glory comes where into your face yes. before that in chapter 2 talked about Moses having to cover his face because the glory of God came into his face and the children of Israel couldn't stand to look upon it That's right. are you here yes. but not us with open face we behold yes. the glory of the Lord the stuff of God yes. the stuff of God you may not understand that language yet but I preached it to you so that you may know this glory shall cover the earth I don't care what your stupid news says this I'm saying this the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth we're talking about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth are you here he's not leaving anytime soon if he does we're leaving with him but he brought all his stuff 
good and perfect you haven't seen it yet but it's gonna start happening you worship him he'll come right out of the spirit and say hello his things come out of the spirit and say hello how do you think anything all this is gonna happen the glory of the Lord covering covering the earth his things his things are gonna come out of the spirit and say hello mm -hmm. what happens in your finances when his things come out of the spirit and say hello your problems disappear as if they were water is that glorious yes. that's his glory Amen. his things come out of the spirit and say here I am talking about God in the earth have have I spoken on God in the earth before are we taking it farther yes. do we have to go farther well, I, I thought it was far enough just to know that he was God and, and, and just to call him God now he wants to show his glory he wants to show his glory in you through you and on you and around you his glory not yours you Daniel chapter 7 verse 26 but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and destroy it unto the end now unto the end doesn't mean it is the end it means that time leading up to the end mm -hmm. say the time, the time. Leading, up the leading up to the end yeah. that's what unto the end means verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven where's under the whole heaven on the earth the kingdom the dominion and the greatness under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high who's the most high God in the earth today Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him hitherto is the end of the matter well that's not the way I was believing well then you're believing wrong he's God in the earth and we're walking with God in the earth and the more we know him as God as God in the earth the more we can walk in his stuff his things and his glory so leading up to the end the whole kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom shall be given to the people of the Saints of the Most High God is this in your Bible yes, well, I don't want to believe it that way I want to believe I like cave theology where we just get so persecuted we go into a cave and disappear and wait for the Lord to come well how are you gonna float up in the air then if you're in a cave right. you'll be stuck up on the top of the cave <laughs> this is not cave theology this is a victorious people you can't walk with the Holy Ghost and not be a victorious person well here is the end of the matter just like Joseph remember Joseph in the land of Egypt there was at one point where he said I have bought he took Bible says all of the money came to Joseph all of it mm -hmm. and then when all the money was run out he said okay now I'll buy you and your crops and your land right. can't happen did happen I've said this before some people mock it maybe they just don't understand it but went before this is over before this is over meaning leading up to it being over before this is over we are going to end up owning it all all these things things manifest from him being God in the earth today you know he he gets happy about this kind of message it used to be he would say good job when I got home but because I've been faithful in saying what he tells me to say no matter what this evening he said thank you before I even got here because he knew what I was gonna say Amen. he knew I'd say it you wouldn't want to say that <laughs> who wants to say that all these things manifest from him being God in the earth today all these 
things manifest from him being God in the earth today who do you worship the Holy Ghost God in the earth today who do you walk with the Holy Ghost God in the earth today and all these things manifest from him as a new manifestation of the Spirit him being God in the earth today without this what do you get nothing just like you're used to well there is a new manifestation of the Spirit and what are you gonna do about it and what are you gonna do with it there is no end and it's open-ended to what you do with it with it meaning him being God and walking with him by saying words now is the Holy Ghost God yes. is he in the earth yes. is he the one you're supposed to walk with yes. did he bring his things with him yes. and what's your problem problem is you're not worshiping him enough and you're not speaking enough in agreement with his word first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy now do yourself a favor I was gonna say do me a favor but really you're doing yourself a favor mm -hmm. learn to put this verse of Scripture in your mouth he is the Holy Ghost is the living God and when you walk with him by saying this verse of scripture what is he able to do richly all things to enjoy yes. say the living God, the living God gives, me gives me richly, richly all, things all things to enjoy so what you're gonna do is worship him and then say this verse of scripture Amen. and then you're gonna worship him the living God and then you're gonna say this verse of scripture you're doing yourself a favor you're setting yourself up for everything that I just talked about tonight Amen. Yes. when you go I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy he likes that Amen. he really likes that and when you find out that he likes it what do you do, do you do it some more and when you begin to do these things the Holy Ghost will begin to notice you and he'll begin to move into your direction closer and closer until those things that were bothering you can't stay near sickness will depart and dissipate illness won't even think about coming near you your youth will be renewed and your prosperity shall come and wealth and riches shall be in your house as you've learned to worship the living God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today and walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words the glory of the Lord shall fill the earth as the waters cover the sea and you shall be a part of it Amen. thank you Holy Ghost we worship you in Jesus name I pray for these people I thank you that they heard those words changes shall begin to happen in their life changes in the way they think changes in the way they've been believing for a new day shall come to them and a new dawn shall arise and they shall become that great people that have been called from the foundation of the earth and those who are or who are been designated to be in this last day they shall be renewed and they shall come up and they shall be that strong people that aggressive bold people we thank you holy ghost this is a great day to be alive i worship you in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you your glory shall fill the earth your glory is your things i thank you that i am partaking of your glory and of your things and my increase shall be seen in my finances in my bank accounts and in everything that i have in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost
Joe got in the earth today. 